black african or caribbean mothers have against their daughters oh let's unpack this okay so first of all there's a lot that can go into that as to why black mothers are just horrible to their daughters let's go to in random order reason number one number one is that it's rooted in a deep-seated insecurity it's a deep-seated insecurity and it's just an insecurity that as a woman she can have that when she becomes a mother her children are a part of her and they are a direct reflection of versions of herself and ways that she is and when she's so deeply insecure she excuse me she cannot handle the reflection that is being reflected back to her she cannot handle her reflection so she projects those insecurities onto her daughters the daughters that trigger her insecurities the daughters that trigger her insecurities are the daughters that adopted some of her qualities that she dislikes about herself some of her poor qualities some of the qualities that she is embarrassed of or ashamed of or things that she's not patient with herself about those qualities that the mother sees in her daughter she sees it in her daughter but she knows that it also exists within herself so instead of her addressing the insecurities that she has within herself she then takes out that frustration on her daughter or daughters that carry the same traits now although the daughters can receive some of those traits you know from their mother they can outgrow them if they face them too number two number two the mother is envious she's envious the way that she looks at her the way that she looks at her daughters with such contempt is stemmed from envy and that's once again tied to number one deep-seated insecurity when a woman is very insecure and she does not love herself she is more prone to feeling a lot of envy because she is comparing herself to other people including her own daughters she is comparing herself to the versions of herself that she once was when she was their age she's constantly comparing herself when she's so insecure within herself she needs to find something to be secure with so she's looking for something outside of herself which is her children and when she sees the same insecurities she doesn't know how to respond because she has not dealt with herself which leads to number two of her just being so envious when she sees that her daughters can have better qualities than her, more strengths than her. Her daughters can just do better than how she was doing when she was their age. Number three, and this one is a little interesting, but hear me when I say this, that the mother, she's like that towards her daughters because emotionally and mentally she has not reached womanhood she's still in girlhood so she mothers from her girlhood not from her womanhood and there's a difference there's difference between a woman being a mother and a girl being a mother a girl being a mother is still emotionally immature but a woman being a mother but she's in her womanhood she's more mature she's more nurturing she's more empathetic she's more gentle she's more maternal your maternal instincts tap in from your womanhood and when you have a woman that is not really tapped into her womanhood and she's still very much in her girlhood she's not tapping into that maternal energy and a lot of mothers out here are in grown woman bodies but they're teenage girls they're just like teen moms that never grew up and remain having a teen mom and remain a teen mom honestly that's all i have for now those three i may make a part two on this if i think of some other other things to list but that's really my take on what is causing the relationship between the black mother and the black daughter.